guys, for today's video we are going to be trying out the brand new Profusion Cosmetics Festival eyeshadow palette. And when I first saw this palette I was like, she's cute but I'm gonna wait to use it because I had a couple other things I wanted to use first until I saw the price of this palette. This palette right here is only $13. $13 for 35 eyeshadows. Not to mention the pan size of these are not like those like itty bitty tiny ones that like are the size of a dime. Like these are like the size of a max single eyeshadow each. Like they're actually really good size. So I was like, I think I'm reading this wrong. Like $13 for 35 eyeshadows. Like I'm probably reading this wrong. And when I actually looked it up, it was right. And I was like, dang, I need to try it like right away because if this performs really well, this is an amazing price. So first things first is I'm going to prime my eyelids using my absolute favorite primer, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm not gonna lie, I just put some new nails on and I am acting like a complete baby giraffe with them because I don't know how to react with long nails. Because like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I've never had long nails. So like, right now, I feel like I'm not in my element. And plus I was in orchestra for so long, like I was so accustomed to like having short nails. So these are quite the challenge for me today. So the first shade that we are going to go into today is called Winning, and I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush. And then with Winning, I'm just going to use it to lightly set my eyeshadow primer. I'm just doing a really light dusting just to kind of get rid of some of that tackiness. So once your eyeshadow primer is set, I'm now going to go into Hipster, which is kind of like a minty shade, and I'm going to go in with this Morphe M433 brush. And then with Hipster, I'm going to apply it into my crease and blend it upwards towards my brow, and I'm only doing it in the inner half of my eye. So first glance, that is not really that pigmented, but let's see if she builds up a little bit. I'm just doing like back and forth motions as well. The next shade that we are going to go into is called Sunny's and it is a matte yellow and I'm going to go in with this Makeup of the Day Build and Blend brush. And then with Sunny's, I'm going to add it into the outer half of my eye. I'm also using it to kind of round out my outer V. I'm really focusing this color in my crease and blending it up to my brow bone. And I'm also making sure I'm not mixing it in with that blue because I don't want to kind of get them blended together yet since we are going to add some more colors. I will say though, these shades seem like they apply really light, but you are able to build it up. Like, see what I mean? Like, this is like my third layer of the shadow. Like, it's not like chalky looking, it's just like you have to kind of build it to get it to look like it does in the pan. So once you have those applied, the next shade that we are going to go into is called Wavy. It's kind of like a deeper matte blue, and I'm going to go in with this Morphe M507 brush. And then with Wavy, I'm applying it into my crease only where the blue is. I'm not bringing it in anywhere towards that yellow. And to help me blend out Wavy, I'm just taking that mint shade again on that Morphe M433 brush, and I'm just doing like little circular motions around that harsh line, just to blend the two together. But seriously, I am just so impressed right now that this is a $13 eye palette. Like, I just really cannot get over it because, like, these are really nice eyeshadows. Like, why is nobody talking about this palette? Because, honestly, I have not heard anything about it. But dang, they're, like, really, really nice. So the next shade that we are going to dip into is called Hot AF, and I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. And with this shade, I'm just going to be applying it into my crease and outer V area. And I'm only focusing this in the crease too. I do not want any of it on the lid and I also do not want to bring any of it towards the blue. I want like a really big gap in between the two. I will say though this shade was definitely really pigmented off the bat. I did not have to build it up like the other shades that we used. It was just like right away pigmented. But dang that is such a pretty orange shade. And again to help me blend out that peachy shade I'm just going to take a little bit more of that shade called Sunny's that matte yellow and just go right above that harsh line. And I'm going to go in with that Makeup of the Day Build and Blend brush from earlier. I'm doing like little circular motions just on that edge. And again, using that same Real Techniques brush, I'm now going to go into Rave, which is this neon pink in the palette. And with Rave, I'm just going to apply it into the crease where that orange and yellow are. I'm not bringing it into the blue either. I'm also using it to kind of round out my outer V. So once you have that applied and blended out, I am now going to go into Totally, which is the raspberry in the palette. And I'm going to go in with this Lexi 231 Small Tapered Blending brush. So with this shade, I'm just going to apply it into my crease anywhere that the pink is. I'm not bringing it into the blue at all. I'm also using it to kind of round out my outer V just a little bit. But seriously, so far, I am so impressed with all of these eyeshadows. Like, I just cannot get over the price of this palette. Like, I have used palettes that are, like, twice as expensive, and they are nowhere near as nice as this. So the next shade that we are going to dip into is called Festival, and it's kind of like a pinky purple shade, and I'm going to go in with this Luxie 227. And what I'm going to do is barely touch my brush into the pan 
barely grabbing any product. And then I'm just going to run this right in between the pinks and the blues, going ever so gently. I barely have any pressure on my brush. As you can see, I'm like holding my pet, um, brush handle like really far back. And I'm just going right on that line and I'm doing back and forth motions. And again, I'm just going to go back into the palette and do just a couple dips, tap off the excess, and then do it again. And again, I'm going super, super light. You don't want to like jam your brush in because you want just like a hint of purple. You don't want like bam purple. And then to help me blend it in the blue side a little bit better, I'm just taking whatever is left on that Morphe M433 brush. I'm just doing a little like back and forth motion, kind of mixing the blue in with that purple. And to help me blend in the pink, I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just using that Real Techniques brush from earlier. So here's where I'm at right now with the look, and honestly, I really am loving the look so far. And off camera, I'm just going to cut my crease using my absolute favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. So here's where I'm at right now after the concealer has dried, and I'm going to go into the shade called Strobe Lights. So with this brush dampened, I'm going to be applying this to anywhere that the concealer is showing. I'm really like packing this on as well. I'm not doing like back and forth swiping motions. I'm really like pressing it into that concealer. So I'm just gonna do a second layer because that first layer was so lackluster. It's like really hard to use this shade wet too. It's like caking up. I don't know if you can see it, but like it's like super caking up right here. Also, the purple on my brush isn't because it's broken. It's just because I can't remember which one I use to cut my crease sometimes. So this kind of helps me to know which brush. But I don't know, I really don't like that shimmer. You can see like it's like super cakey and kind of weird like right in here and it's also kind of patchy and like lifting up when I apply more product. Definitely not a fan. So I'm just going to use my finger to see if I can get this shade to be a little bit more sparkly because I know somebody's gonna be like, you should use your finger next time. It's gonna work better. So we are gonna try it. Oh yeah, that is definitely way more shimmery. I definitely do recommend using your finger with this shade, but if you're like me and you have long nails, it's kind of tricky. But when I used it wet, it definitely like caked the shadow up, but using it dry, it's actually really nice. And it actually gave me like some of that like sparkle that I was looking for too. And with this Makeup of the Day Sultry Smudge Brush, I'm taking a little bit of that really hot pink shade called Totally, and I'm going right over that harsh line of the concealer and flicking my brush inwards to that shimmery shade on the lid just to blend the two together. And to also really help me blend the two together, I'm just taking my ring finger and tapping the line in between those two colors as well. But yeah, so here is where I'm at right now with the look, and honestly, I think it's like super cool. And then off camera, I'm just going to apply my foundation and all of that. So here's where I'm at right now with the look, and then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a little bit more of Festival, the matte purple shade, on that Luxie 227 from earlier. I did grab more shadow, and I'm just running it right underneath my lower lash line. And just make sure that you are connecting it with that kind of peachy shade in the outer corner as well. And then for the inner corner, I am going to go back into strobe lights with this Luxie pencil brush. And then with this shade, I'm just going to pack the shit out of it in my inner corner and also bring it underneath the eye as well. But yeah, so here is the finish look, and honestly, I'm just like really shook about it. Coming into this, I did not know what to expect. I have never tried out Profusion Cosmetics before, and honestly, they don't even sell them in my area. But when I saw that this palette was $13, and please don't make that a drinking game, I know I've said it so many times this video, I just could not get over how affordable it was. I mean, $13 for 35 eyeshadows is a really great price point, not to mention this palette has so many pretty, pretty bright, colorful eyeshadows in it. Like, this is, like, a perfect, like, festival and summer type of palette, and I honestly just had to try it just because of the price. I know a lot of you guys are always looking for great affordable options, whether you are on a budget or you are new to makeup and you don't know where to start. I just thought that this one would be so much fun to try, so that is why we filmed today. So with that said, I do want to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions about this palette, first of which let's go over the eyeshadow formula, which is definitely the most important. One of the shadows that really truly impressed me was this light minty blue shade up in here. Some of these like lighter shades can get super chalky and really patchy super quick and they can look just kind of dusty on the eye, but this one is absolutely stunning and it is so nice and it's so easy to blend out. I will warn you though, it is very light when you first initially apply it, but you are able to build it up to look like it does in the pan. And also this yellow shade down here is the same. I thought that this one was so pretty on the eye, not to mention you can easily build this one up as well. 
Another shadow that really caught my attention was this matte raspberry shade down here called, I believe, Totally. But looking at that shadow before I applied it, I was like, shit, it's going to give me that ugly, like, dark line in my crease. It's going to be super hard to blend out. But honestly, that shadow is nothing like that. It's super pigmented and it's so easy to blend out. And I have honestly spent $20 on single eyeshadows from other brands with that same color. And they are awful compared to this one, which just honestly blows my mind. The only shade that I had some problems with was Strobe Light right here, the shade that we used on our lid, and I felt like that shadow was super tricky to figure out. If I used it wet, it looked really chunky on the lid and super lackluster, but if I used my finger, I was able to get it to look kind of shimmery. I mean, it was still kind of lackluster, but at least I could get like some like impact on it. But if you are like me and you have fake nails, it's super hard to get it really like in that inner corner, not to mention get like a really nice precise application. So I mean, like it looks a lot better if you use your finger, but it's still kind of lackluster. I feel like if you use like one of those like little sponge tip applicators and you had nails, you'd be able to use it better. But again, it's still kind of lackluster. Packaging wise, I actually feel like the palette's really nicely packaged for the price. A lot of like these like cheaper palettes that I get, like I feel like I'm gonna break them if they drop on carpet. And this one's actually pretty decent. Like it feels a little bit more sturdy than what I'm used to. And I also really enjoy that they did like a clear top to it so you are able to see all of the eyeshadows in this palette. So my biggest pet peeve about this palette is the plastic insert with the dreaded names on it. I don't even know why companies still do this, but this one is so much worse than all of the other ones that I have. Like I don't know if you can see it over my hair, but like the text on this is light brown. Light brown. Do you know how hard it is to read light brown text? I actually had to find something black so I could actually read the text because it was so hard for me to read the shade names to you guys while doing my makeup. And not to mention what even annoys me more is this palette has a sticker on the back. A sticker. Like why didn't they just put the nice shade names right underneath these shadows over in here? It would have made it so much easier and a lot of us would have appreciated it. Not to mention, this like insert thing has some like nasty, nasty, like sticky stuff on it to make it hold inside the palette. And my cat's hair has collected that in about five seconds. It is just so disgusting and I'm definitely not throwing this back in here. But like, I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Like, why wouldn't you just put the shade names on the back of the palette? It would have made things so much easier for us. So when it comes down to it, would I recommend this palette to you guys? And honestly, I feel like this palette is amazing quality for the price. I seriously cannot get over that it is only $13. Like literally my mind is like blown from it. And I do want to mention though, you have to be somebody that is okay with building up your shadows. If you are not okay with that, you definitely will not like this palette. I did have to build mine up a couple of times, but I was able to get a really nice blend and get them to look like they do in the pan. I didn't have to sit there a long time doing it either. It just took a couple of times. I do feel like this palette though would be amazing for people just starting out with makeup and you don't know where to start or somebody that is looking to start in color, but you just don't really want to spend a lot of money on a palette for it. I definitely feel like this palette would be awesome for you. But yeah, so with that said, I do want to share with you guys some swatches of this palette. Winning, strobe lights, wristband, DJ, fanny pack, geode, superstar, witty, headliner, days, playlist, shell, hipster, Maya, campground, sunnies, beat, festival, rave, Atlantis. Likeable, bossy, zenith, hot air, bite, groove, wavy, legendary, champ, fortune, crochet, totally, rockin', onyx. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what your thoughts are on this look. And as always, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kitten. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye.